Dave Wolver from uh, dragondropcode.com. In the previous app of this series or previous video in the series, I showed you how to filter data. So we've got a spreadsheet of a bunch of foreign film Oscar nominees, but we only show the Spanish ones. And of course, really what we want to do is let the user choose either show all or show Spanish or maybe show any language, right? So I'm going to show you how to kind of add the user interface element because right now we're just showing showing Spanish, okay? So I'm going to go back to editing and I'm going to go to the designer and let's just add some real simple user interface element like a switch. And right now we'll just let the user switch between showing only Spanish or showing um, all, all the data, okay? So I'm just gonna grab this label, make it a little smaller using Thunkable's nice drag and drop methods. And I'll just put the text all in there. And then I'm gonna duplicate it. And this is just window dressing. Um, you know, this is no, you, nothing's gonna happen based on the fact that I said the word all, but let's go grab that guy, move him over. And over here, I'm gonna say Spanish. Okay, so basically, and I'm going to make this switch so that it starts off as false. False meaning it's to the left. And, uh, and then the user can click it and either go back and forth. So if they click all, it should show all. If they click Spanish, it should show Spanish. Okay, now we've got to actually code the behavior. So I'm going to go to the blocks. And right now, it's like I said, if, it's, if the language is Spanish, it's, it's sticking a new row into, the, into our second spreadsheet okay and we want to kind of change this so it it does something different the other thing we got to worry about is when the user actually does a switch when he actually you know um, makes a modification we've got to handle that event so if i choose this switch block or component um, then i can choose the switch on value change event handler and there it is and i just drag it out and essentially, right when the screen opens or when the user makes a change here, um, and that change could be going left or right on the switch, we want to do basically all this stuff, okay? Well, we'll create our variables only once when the screen opens, but the stuff of, of actually doing the filtering, we're going to want to do in both places, okay? So I'm actually going to create a function, and a function just is kind of another, you know, little processing almost it's almost like we're creating our new block and this new block i'm going to call show rows okay and we're going to end up calling this block both from the screen opens and the on value change and we're going to do all our stuff in show rows because that's that's what show rows does right okay and like i said once i've created that function i need to call it so when the screen opens create my variables and then call show rows. And then also on the on value change, we're going to um, call show rows. Okay, so both when the app opens and when the user kind of toggles that switch, we're going to call this function. Okay, now the kind of the more trickier part or more complex part is we need to change this filter. And before we were saying no matter what, we're going to just choose Spanish ones. And we, we don't really want to do that. Really what we want is something a little more complex. I'm going to put an or in here. And yeah, um, if under certain conditions, if the language is Spanish, we want to put it in. But if that switch is to the left, you know, if the user has chosen all basically, and that means the value is false, we also want to stick these rows in, OK? So I'm actually going to go to the switch and I can grab the um, on value, uh, the value block. And if that guy is false, okay, so if switch's value is false, that means it's to the left. And I want to, if it's to the left, that means I don't, I'm not filtering at all. I want to, I want to grab every single row. So, you know, the logic is a kind of complex, but basically if the switch is to the left, we're going to create the row for the one we're looking at. Or if it's to the right, but the language, um, you know, the one we're looking at, right? We're going through this list, this spreadsheet. We're going through every item 
And if we get an item that is Spanish, even if the switch is is on, you know that we're only supposed to take Spanish, then then we should also show show a row. All right, let's try it out. Let's run this guy. If we do our web preview, uh, it should start off start off showing everybody, which I think it's going to do. Okay, cool. Now the user, if they choose Spanish, it should go through and only show the Spanish ones. Okay, cool. So I think we've now kind of successfully, you know, you know, put a user interface element in where the user is is deciding what kind what data gets shown. And you know, of course, we could do even more complex things, but like put a put a list viewer in here, which has all the languages, and they'll let the user choose which which language they they want want to show. And there's many different user interface methods of of allowing the user to to navigate.